Hi, I'm Alexis Hasselberger, a time management and productivity coach. I help people with big lives, big jobs, and both to do more and stress less. And I've taught thousands of people just like you how to do exactly that through online courses, through coaching, one-on-one -on -one and group coaching, and through workshops, I give you the skills that you need to be able to do more of what you want and less of what you don't. And so today I just want to share one of my top tips with you around how you can do more and stress less, and that is to reduce your distractions. Now, we live in the real world, right? We're not going to reduce or remove all of our distractions, but there's something really important that distractions are doing to us, and that is killing our productivity. So there is a study out of UC Irvine from several years ago that showed that not only are we distracted every 11 minutes, but that it takes us on average 23 minutes to recover from a distraction, to refocus on what we were doing. That's a lot of time, 23 minutes, not 23 seconds. And so the study showed that most people spend about a third of their workday simply recovering from distractions. And so I want to help you to help reduce some of these distractions so that you can gain back some of that time for yourself. So one thing that you can do, one thing that I find with my clients is that we actually don't necessarily know what our biggest distractors are. And so something that I have my clients do and that I want to share with you is that you can, for just a day or two, keep a pad of paper next to you or your phone notes, whatever it is, and every single time you get distracted, write down what it was that distracted you, you know, whether it was a ding or a ping or one of your kids or, you know, someone else or yourself, right? Your own brain just getting distracted and going to check email, whatever it was that distracted you, just write it down. And then after you have a day or two's worth of data, you can look at that and you'll be able to easily pull out trends. You'll be able to easily see what your one or two biggest distractors are. And you might be surprised. You know, I had a client who did this once and he found out that while he had a couple of kids, it was just one of them that was his primary distractor 90% of the time. So we're able to focus on that. And then what you can do is download my free distraction action plan. And what this will do is it'll help you to have identified this, you know, what are your primary distractors? And then it'll give you some suggestions of ways that you can minimize or reduce some of those distractions so that you can gain back more time for you.